Whoa. Well, good morning, you glorious hot dogs. <laughs> hot dogs of the week, prom, dodgeball, and more after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For your hot dogs of the week is freshman Jonathan Vasquez Valdez, sophomore Ethan Gephardt, junior Lee Cantu, senior Tessa Stefanatos, and staff member Rachel Wilson. Today is the last day to get your prom tickets for the low price of $25. Tomorrow and Friday the price will increase. In order to get a ticket you need to have a signed parental permission slip. Both the slips and tickets are located in the bookstore. Remember, if you guys watch the Eclipse Monday and still have those somewhat cool glasses, be sure to get those into Mr. Field so he can ship them to a company that will send them to South America for their annular solar eclipse in October. Make sure you get those to him by Friday. Lastly, make sure you guys sign up for Dodgeball. Mrs. Hall is going to cancel it if no other teams sign up by next week. This is something fun to do and get through the rest of the year. So don't be some Debbie Downers and get yourself a team and sign up now. That's all from me and Erwin. Now to Brian. Thank you, Edwin, and good morning, dogs. The varsity baseball team lost to Lebanon 3-2 last night. Alex Lopez pitched well to keep the game close, and Carlos Lopez led the offense with a hit and two runs scored. The team is now on 4-1 on the season. They play Lebanon at home tonight to try and earn the series split. So make sure to pop out and watch them play. And our girls softball team fell to Lebanon. The boys and girls track team had meets on Friday and Tuesday. The dogs ran against Harrison and Faith Christian on Friday, and they came back on Tuesday for a dual meet against North Montgomery. Chris Rascone, Sire Flores, and Jordan Garcia led the throws, while Justin Ramirez Serrazo, Ethan Hudspeth, and Owen Hudspeth led the jumpers. Jaden Davis and Stephen Kobe led the sprinter going first and third in the 100. Chris Angeles cruised to an easy win in the 1600, while Leo Roa and Jonathan Bautista Leon finished first and second in the 3200. The boys and girls 4x8 relay both got wins on Tuesday. Lexi Reed Jill won the long jump and Kylie Goodnight won the 100 mil hurdles. Our team has had two great days of competition with everyone on the team setting new personal records. The team is excited to keep building on these early performances as we gear up for the county meet later this month and conference in May. And our girl tennis faced against Western Boone here at home yesterday, but lost to 2 and 3. We had Libby Pierce started her senior season strong, winning a two, sets, two sets against Western. Olivia Fry started her high school tennis career strong with a comeback win in her first varsity match as a freshman. Great job, ladies. Also, our boys golf team traveled to Cool Lake Monday night to take on the stars of Western Boone. The dogs shot a team score of 167 opposed to the 199 of Weibo. Leading the hot dogs with 40s were Jackson Ray and Charlie Beardsley. Luke Beardsley carded a 43, Harrison Kiger rounded out the scoring with a 44, and Dylan Garrison, Xavier McClellan, and Trey Seward shot 48, 42, and 62. Birdies were made by Charlie, Luke, and Jackson. The team travels to Monticello Saturday morning for the Twin Lakes Invitational. That's all for me, and now I'm going to be sending it to the weatherman. Yo, thanks, Brian. I've got my special co-host here for the weather today, and that's Erwin. For today's weather forecast, we are expected to see mostly cloudy skies this morning, which will eventually give way to cloudy skies and rain during the afternoon. Today's chance of rain is supposed to climb up to 80% throughout majority of the day, with the high reaching a mild 64 degrees, and winds ranging from 5 to 10 miles per hour. Headed towards the later part of the evening, we're supposed to see some cloudy skies with periods of rain, to the low of the night, eventually dropping to 53 degrees. The only real downside of the night is that there will be a chance of rain staggering at a 100% chance, bringing localized flooding, so that's very possible. Remember to grab your rain boots and rain jackets because you are definitely going to need them. It's going to wrap up me and Erwin here for the yap session about some random weather. Now let's send it back to your hosts. Anyone who is interested in being the drum major of the hot dog marching band, should attend tryouts Thursday and next Tuesday. 
For lunch today in lines one and two will be chicken snack wrap, lines three, soup and salad bar, lines four will be pizza crunchers. A special happy birthday goes out to Rodrigo Campos Perez, Jesus Mejia Mora, Grant Roberts. Happy birthday goes out to you. That's all for the morning announcements. Make sure you have a fabulous day.